Now he was number four in the league in drives to the basket a season ago, and most of them ended with plays like this. Goran Dragic to his teammate Eric Bledsoe for the high percentage finish. All a part of the uh, Suns training camp practice as we continue our real training camp coverage here on NBA TV. Goran Dragic and brother Zoran Dragic kind enough to, to join us. And this this is, Grant and I were laughing before the show, this is where the brothers come to play, right? Here in Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Phoenix is the spot. <laughs> uh, we got uh, two brothers, uh, Morrison and Dragic. So I don't know what is that. Well, how, how happy are you? How thrilled are you to have this guy sitting over here to your left, Zoran Dragic? Uh, we were talking before the show. No, no more Skype, no more international calling. You guys get to see each other every day. Yeah, and the phone is really expensive. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm really, I'm really happy that uh, I can spend some time with my little brother. Um, every time, I mean, I didn't see him for eight months. Then we played together for national team, but. This year we can spend the whole year together and uh, try to spend some quality time. And for you, Zorn, coming in as a rookie and having your big brother to lean on and sort of show you the ropes, how does it feel for you to not only be in the NBA but to play alongside your brother Gorn? Uh, it's, better to, it's better to play with him because uh, we play the same in national team, so now it's totally different when we play in the same club. So I'm very happy that uh, I'm beside him and uh, that he helping me a lot, especially first year because I'm rookie and uh, the first year is the tough year in NBA. Yeah, the, the fans here with the Suns in the NBA know his style. If you can, describe what you think your style will be for the Suns fans and NBA fans to see. Uh, I just I just going out there and put the 100% at each, each game and uh, trying to play good defense and, and at the same offense. I try to help the team as much as possible. Now I'm curious, when you guys play one on one, who 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 wins in the in those battles? Does the big brother win or? Uh, I don't know. Last time that we play against each other was a long time ago. But <laughs> and now that we, that we are both professionals, we don't play one on one. We always play together against somebody else. So. <laughs> Smart man. <laughs> now I, I want you to put this into perspective for those watching. I mean, again, you've got the the Morris brothers, but. Your city, what, 2 million people where you two grew million, up? Yeah. 2 million. No, it's the, the, the whole country. Or the whole million. country the is 2 million. Is, uh, 400, 400 people. And, and so 400,000 plus, and you've got two brothers playing in the NBA. I mean, that to me is mind boggling. Speaks volumes about just your persistence, your intensity, and obviously your upbringing with your parents. Yeah, I mean, this is a big achievement for our family, for our country. I mean, we are the first Slovenian brothers to be in the NBA. Um, to be first two Slovenians uh, to play for the same team. Um, we already had nine players in NBA, and uh, like you said, we had only two million people in our country. But that's, uh, I think so that's a plus, because uh, um, I think so uh, basketball back in, uh, in Slovenia, we're working good. Uh, you know, the young talents, they're working hard, and um, our gym is try to make as many basketball players as we can. So. Gorn, the constant theme here today has been expectations, the expectations for this team and this franchise after last year. And you having been someone who's been on playoff teams, has played well in, in the playoffs and been on, on some of those, those exciting teams, uh, talk about those expectations for yourself but also for this team and how you manage that. I mean, my expectations for the team are really high. Uh, you know, we try to go one step higher than last year. Um, last year, nobody expected us to play like that, but uh, we had a great chemistry. We played well together. Uh, we had 48 wins, and I think so. Our goal this year is to make playoffs, of course. I think so. We we are um, more mature. We have a lot of experience last year, and uh, hopefully, we're gonna we're gonna win a lot of games. Now, I got one one last question. As rookies, sometimes they have to go and get newspapers and donuts. <laughs> we had Goran getting donuts back when he was a rookie. <laughs> But, but G, G never had donuts because you always eat healthy. That's true. That's true. It was Shaq who had the Shaq, donuts. Shaq. Shaq ate the donuts. But is there anything that, as a rookie, that uh, they're making you do or Big Brother's making you do? He is doing – I must do for him all every day something. So, uh, <laughs> But for the team, we are doing uh, – in a scrimmage, we were dancing and everything. But – uh, the thing is gonna come, I think. I, I think so. All the rooks, they're gonna, uh, they're gonna do the same that I did six years ago. 
um, they're gonna probably sing? have to sing on a gala event. So. Oh <laughs> yes, Gorn. We we might want to roll a live tape for that. <laughs> most and, definitely. And, and and I want that song, the greatest American hero, to stay in, inside the family. So yes, maybe, yes. Maybe it's okay gonna sing that song. You pass it on to your brother. I like uh, that. I like good that. Good stuff, guys. Thanks for the visit, and best of luck to you.